Hey everybody, welcome back to Video Game Mess. So, today I got a fun and exciting episode for you guys tonight because just a few days ago, Technopair added PlayStation 3 support in for arcade games via RPCS3. And to say on the actual emulator, these things can be very difficult to set up and get control is an understatement. I think I get more questions about how to emulate PlayStation 3 arcade games on RPCS3 than I do any other emulation platform out there. So now Technopair and the team have made it so much easier to enjoy some of the most fun and weirdest PlayStation three arcade games out there before you get far involved though do me a huge favor down below hit like and subscribe and ring that notification bell it definitely helps us out and if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel i got a patreon link down below as well but let's jump right into some of the games that work and i'm going to explain how you can enjoy this yourself we're going to start off with dark escape 4d right now and i will show you that it is running in the 3d mode now if you do have active 3d glasses this should work on your pc i've talked to a few people who tested it out and they said it worked fine i just don't have any of them in my collection but the big hook about this game was one, it could be seen in 3D and two, there was a heart rate sensor on the actual light gun in the arcades that could monitor your heart rate. Now that's something that's not gonna be coming over to PC anytime soon, but of course the 3D capabilities will work, but with the push of a button, you can go from 3D to 2D. Now I understand that RPCS3 exists and you can make these things run, but I would say getting the controls actually wired up in RPCS3 without Techno Parrot's help definitely is on the harder end of trying to set an emulator up. Because like I said just a moment ago, this is probably the one emulation platform that really does give people a lot of hell just because the executable is an L file and it basically just requires a lot of testing as how you can actually get the controls in for the light gun games. Now the best part is one on Technopair, this runs flawlessly at least on my system because it is just using RPS3 under the hood. And so you know for the specs I have an i9-12900K overclocked 64 gigabytes of RAM as well as a 3080 Ti so I have all the horsepower I need to be able to run these games at full speed. But you will see that it is still compiling shaders in the bottom left hand corner because this was my initial run at actually running these games in Technopara. But like anything RPCS3, once the shaders are compiled once you will have that cache for future playthroughs. And if you have a fast enough system, even that compilation really doesn't slow the game down whatsoever. But the big deal here is having all this in the Techno Parrot UI means you're going to be able to set up the controls within about 10 seconds and everything is just going to work. You bind your buttons, you select whatever you want for your light gun for these games, and you are just playing whether you're full screen or windowed. Every time I try to get this thing set up, it worked perfectly the first time. And that is definitely a testament to just how good of a job that the Techno Parrot team has done and how it's going to make playing these games that much easier in the future. All of the calibration and alignment work perfectly fine. It registered my gun for IR as a mouse cursor. I also tested my trackball, a Kensington Expert mouse, and that worked fine as well. And that, like I said, is just going to be such a big deal moving forward because that's where people basically get screwed up. They get the game running, but they can't control it. The sound is also excellent as well. So it's our first soundtrack sample, 45 seconds, and I'll be right back with more games to show you. The nice thing is not only does the sound work good in RPCS3 via Technopara, but the last time I featured this game, maybe back in 2023, there was a lot of stuttering and hitching in the audio even though the game would run at full speed. So if it's been a couple years since you even tried to play Dark Escape 4D and you found that it didn't run well or had audio issues, that's completely patched up in the more recent versions of the emulator in and of itself. And that definitely is something nice because I know a lot of people have tried to play this game in the past and I've just walked away with a less than stellar experience, so that's definitely something you're going to be able to do today and enjoy. Now let's move over to Sailor Zombie AKB48. This is one of the weirdest games ever put to PlayStation 3 arcade hardware, and for two of the three games in this video, it is also going to be an arcade exclusive. This is one that I have absolutely no idea how it got made, but I'm so glad that it did, and all three of these games are going to be from Bandai Namco in the video. Now because they are all light gun shooters, the number one thing that matters is the aim accuracy, whether you're using gun for IR, a mouse cursor, or a Wiimote, or anything else. The great part about Technoparrot is it makes it 
is so easy to set up the actual light gun controls because in our PCS3 it can be a little bit cumbersome. It's one of those things that pretty much everyone can get a controller set up for traditional games, but when it comes to these peripherals like light guns, it's just a situation where it does seem to get a lot of people confused. So maybe you've tried to run these before and you just weren't successful. The nice thing is about the Technopair Incorporation is that all you need to do is pick what your mouse is, pick what your buttons are, and then apply a few extra buttons for coin and start and everything will just work. And if you're in windowed mode or if you're in full screen mode, it's going to basically constrain your mouse cursor into that so you can't accidentally drag off that screen and click out onto the desktop, at least for me. That can sometimes be a problem because I do use dual monitors. And I think that's been a great thing about how Technopair runs pretty much any light gun game. It takes over that mouse cursor, gives it to the game, so you really can't screw up and end up minimizing that window by some strange chance. And I think that definitely aids a lot of people because you don't want to be brought out of the fun when you're playing. But as far as performance, again, your mileage may vary depending on the specs of your PC. But for me here, you can see everything is running 100% smoothly, even when it is compiling the shaders. But honestly, this game, probably the least graphically intense of the three you're going to see in the video. But I'm going to do a second soundtrack sample. I think some of this music could be licensed, so we'll have to wait and see if you hear something or if you basically just hear silence. But trust me, this game is just a straight up 10 out of 10 weird experience. I have absolutely no idea how it got out into the world, but I'm so glad that it does exist. But here comes that music or silence. We'll have to wait and see. And I'll be right back with one more game. So, That's absolutely a vibe, and is there a rhythm component in a light gun game where you're shooting zombies that are actually also Japanese pop stars? There 100% is. That is how the game works. That's how weird it is, and I'm sure you'll be seeing this maybe next month in October when I do an episode on it, because it's both an unported arcade game as well as perfect for the Halloween season. But this is another game that has been incorporated into Techno Parrot as of today, and it's one of those things now that the underlying infrastructure to have RPCS3 executing out of Techno Parrot with all of the Techno Parrot custom control bindings. I think you're going to see a lot more games come over, but just remember, just like PlayStation 3 console releases, not every single game works perfectly and not every single arcade game is going to be able to be run in RPCS3 yet, because it's not like Technopair is doing something like making their own PlayStation 3 emulator, they're incorporating previous work with the permission of the team into something like Technopair to get it running easier for people, and while they might assist in some of the emulation developments they have in the past with stuff like the Play Emulator for PlayStation 2, we'll have to wait and see. But moving on to the third game that is now running in Techno Parrot, this is Deadstorm Pirate Special Edition, which means that it is going to have a couple extra components that you wouldn't see on the actual PlayStation 3 console release, but this is one that did come home. It's kind of interesting. The Arcade Special Edition has some things that the Home Console port I don't believe does, and the Home Console port has some things that the Arcade Edition doesn't as well. So you'd really want to kind of play both of these games. But this one definitely is my favorite of the three. Dark Escape 4D is a ton of fun, but the difficulty can feel a little bit cheap. Honestly, Sailor Zombie is a great time, but you kind of have to laugh at it. But Dead Storm Pirate is just straight up gold from start to finish. I absolutely love this game. I enjoy it every single time I play, and it's one of those things. Being able to play it easier while bypassing RPCS3 and their actual setup is just a good time. And don't think that I'm making a knock against RPCS3. I think it's an absolutely incredible emulator, but I think anything to make these games easier easier to set up for the end user is going to be a good thing because not everyone is an expert at emulation and I do get a metric crap ton of comments asking for help especially when it comes to setting up controls it does really seem to be the final boss pun very much intended for actually playing some of these things and as far as what light gun you should use I recommend gun for IR for basically anything light gun arcade on PC sending will work great as well and of course you can use a Wiimote if it can take over the mouse you can even just use a trackball or a mouse if you want to you don't really need any custom controls it's basically just kind of bring whatever you want and you will be fine. And that's the great thing about this being incorporated into Techno Parrot. There's a drop down menu where you basically set the player one and player two light gun. You pick whatever you're using, a mouse cursor or otherwise, and then you're fine. And if you don't want to use a mouse, you can even use something like an Xbox Series X controller and basically move the aiming reticle with the analog sticks and use the triggers for your shots. And if you've never used Techno Parrot before, go ahead to my emulation night school playlist. I do have a full setup guide for both light gun games as well as regular games. And if you 
get completely stuck, you can go ahead and join my Patreon because I have the Emulation Night School tier there. But honestly, if you pay attention to my tutorials, 10 out of 10 of you should be able to figure it out and you won't need me on Patreon whatsoever. It's just a little bonus I do offer. But definitely check this one out. Techno Parrot just got better with RPCS3 and I absolutely love to see it. Three amazing light gun games makes me happy. Bye-bye.